little bags of goodies to see what little projects we can make. Um, and yes, Santa's coming soon. And don't worry, Santa is an essential worker, so we'll still be able to come, um, hopefully. Anyway, let's check out bag 22, see if we've got any inspiration. And if not, the world gave me inspiration yesterday, so we will see. Ooh, ooh. That is gorgeous. Um, can we see? Um, looks a little bluer on ca on camera. It's a very silky. I'm going to guess it's a silk or a silky bamboo. Um, more kind of aqua greeny blue. Looks bluer on camera, but gorgeous. That is nice. Oh, dyed Rami? Rami? Someone else can say that. Uh, vegan silk. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that wasn't silk. Is it maybe a little more fluffy? Um, some bit, some fluff's coming off, but it's lovely. Um, we love this pla plant fiber for its shine. This icy blue. Melt it. Melt it. Mix it with wool to help it felt. Oh, that is lovely. Now, that would make a great hair for some of the angels. Um, or even a dress for a fairy or something. That is nice. But I can see, yeah, as it's a uh, vegan fiber, it probably won't felt very well by itself. So we'll need mixed in with some, some better felting fibers. But it is really nice. Yeah, it has a lovely soft sheen on it. Yeah, that is gorgeous. But, 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 I want to share with you my inspiration for today. If if this will show it. Um, how do I do this? Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, let's just do it this way. Let's just do it this way. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> when I was out walking yesterday, this little robin followed us, literally chased us about, followed us and kept... Um, well, kept posing for me. Um, so I thought he is definitely asking, asking to be felted. I mean, literally these pictures, these are not with a zoom lens. I was this close to this little Robin. Um, so he was gorgeous. So I think the world wants us to make this little Robin. Um, yeah, such a pretty little guy. So I think Think, do adore that hair, but I think it's a day for a robin. Um, yeah, so that's that's what we're gonna try. Um, Carol's in the house. Hello there. I hope you're doing well. Okay, so I'm gonna start me robin. He was a fat little dude. Um, he was on some kind of a berry tree. That's how um, my mum spotted him to start with because she was looking at the berries and then saw the robin sitting there. So big fatty. He's probably protecting his berry tree. Um, so I'm going to, it was literally a big ball of a body and then a little ball of a head. <laughs> there was nothing fancy about him. He was fantastic. Oh, we're going to have to be quick. I've just got a warning on my laptop that I've got 20 minutes of battery life. Who was that idiot who didn't charge <laughs> the laptop? So we're racing against time here. Um, but yes, so today is going to be my little fat Robin. He was absolutely adorable. Yeah, we, um, we parked up at this beautiful, um, beautiful beside the Murray Firth, um, this little car park in this gorgeous little village. And when we parked, mum spotted the robin and then we went for a good long walk, probably, I don't know, about an hour walk. And when we came back, he was there again. So we got some more shots. And then as I moved away, he just kept following me. We went, um, someone had a bench overlooking the water. Someone had put up like a tiny nativity. So we'd went to have a look at it and he came and hopped over there. And he literally just looked like he was begging for payment for his <laughs> his work as a as a model. Um, so just for a laugh, I said, what, do you take dog treats? I had some dog biscuits in my pocket and I put a couple on the table there just for funsies anyway. And we're still stood there and he flew right in, grabbed one and flew off again. So I hope dog biscuits are OK for Robins. <laughs> but yeah, he he looked like he was waiting for his payment. OK big ball of fatness for our fat robin. Uh, Lisa's in the house. Good morning. How are you doing? 
Um, and then we're going with Little Abu. And Erica, good morning to you all. Good to see you. I hope everyone's doing awesome. It's, as you can probably tell by the lighting today, it's bright and sunny today. So hopefully going to get out and get some, some pretty pictures and just spend some time out outside, away from people, but doing some outside stuff because yes yeah, it's, it's important to try and get outside when we can just in case who, who knows what the future is going to hold for for next year so we'll do what we can um but yeah that's about the only plans i i think there might be cooking plans in the future for all the the goodies we want because it is the season to sit about and eat ridiculous food yeah so a ball and a ball he seemed I'm trying to explain it. So over the back, that was kind of like a smooth piece, and then the head was a bloop bloop. <laughs> technical terms, a bloop bloop is, is the technical felting term, if anyone didn't know. So it's almost like a kind of duck shape, really, isn't it? Um, but anyway, my fat little Robin will give that give that a try. And he had a lot more white on him than I thought Robins had, and a lot less brown, but... Yes, we should should be able to knock up something. Hopefully cute. Hopefully quickly. <laughs> well, as I say, I've got 20 minutes of battery, so this has to be a quick project. Now, have I got a more stabby needle here? Yes. Just to get the head into the body nice and firmly. Because it would be a little distressing if his head fell off. And what crafty stuff are you all making today? I think I really have to. I am that idiot that I brought up all my supplies to make my orders. But thankfully, my, my shipping times and my shop are like everything now isn't to be shipped till the end of January or the beginning of February. But I brought all my supplies to, to carry on working through my orders. And I forgot just the, the plainest of tan colors. Um, that I'm going to need for like about two or three of my dogs that I've got to make. So I am that idiot. Um, so, but I'll just have to work on some different orders. So that's the plan. And as I said, hopefully do some digital drawings and at some point plan out the videos I'm going to make for next year. I'm looking forward to that. This, this time of the year is always sort of the downtime to plan and think about what's going to happen. Um, so yeah, we're on the 22nd of December just now. So we've got a couple more days of Advent and then I will leave you alone for a bit of bit of peace over the festivities and then we'll return in January with a, with hopefully some cool, cool projects and cool videos. Okay, his head is actually attached. Um, I brought a darker brown than he was, but I'm gonna start with the brown and make his little tail because that'll probably take the longest. Um, oh, Erica's just finished a donkey. She'll post it later. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. That sounds so awesome. Um, I have not really made a donkey, I don't think. That's something I must rectify. <laughs> a little donkey sounds cute. I've done it well. That's for 2021. I had planned to try and do some horse tutorials. So a donkey would be cool in there as well. I'm thinking like unicorns i do want to do a kelpie for those that don't know that's the scottish water horse thing you know it's it's a myth and folk folklore so it's got a dark a dark history but i want to do a kelpie I want to do an actual horse and i think a donkey would be cool as well because there's there's awesome details in a donkey all right so i've just made a flap for a tail i will do pretty much the same for two wings um, and I, of course, have a fantastic red for his, his red breast. There's there's no point in having a robin without a red breast. Although, right, I've, I've heard people say that the robins in America are not the same as British robins. I should have looked that up. Um, so you're, well, not you're, I think most of you are UK because this is ridiculously early for everybody. Um, but if... If Google Tobias is on, <laughs> um, but if you can let me know if if American robins are different from British robins, was that 
interesting. Right, slightly wing shape. Yeah, yeah, because you always, you kind of think all the animals you've got in your country are normal and what they should be, and everyone else has exotic, cool, weird, and different animals. But I do always think a robin is a robin. But so if they're different, oh, <laughs> this work went outside. I was like, what on earth was that noise? I'm not used to, not not upstairs in my basement, upstairs bedroom. There's stuff going on about. It's weird. They're probably peeking in the window going, why is that? Why is that woman sitting talking at a laptop? <laughs> and that's where anyone else who's, who's YouTubers, there used to be a thing where YouTubers would do videos from their cars they'd be sitting in car parks and things and i tried it like a couple of times and i'd be sitting and i'd be constantly like someone's looking in the window thinking i'm insane so yeah i couldn't do that all right two wings and a tail i'm going to pop the tail on first i'm just going to flick over me i won't take you with me but i'm going to flick over to my robin um picture so i can see what i'm doing here Ooh. Um, I'm getting warnings that my battery, if I suddenly crash out, it's because my battery's run out. <laughs> um, but yes, we're going to pop his little tail on. Um, oh, I'm just letting the brown bits are only going from his wings and from his head back. So I can pop his wings on um, just like, like that. And I'm not actually having to put more brown on that's weird i thought i would have thought the brown went more underneath his body but it doesn't we're basing this on a real a real robin um so I, I have to go with what he looks like here we go and then i will cover what the, there i put the brown i'll cover the rest of the top he's just up to his forehead in brown and then we'll fade the red in which i think will look nicer and then oh we established i forgot to bring black through here so i can't do his big old beady eyeball that's a pain um, um bridget good evening <laughs> good evening bridget how are you doing good good to see you and um, we are, for anyone who's just joined, um, today I am felting a quick robin ornament because yesterday I got stalked by a very adorable little robin. So he was just asking to be created. So I'm giving it a go. Seeing how it turns out. I don't think I've ever actually felted a robin. So yeah, it's, he timed it very well. It's, it's perfect for this time of project, this type. So just i'm also racing because my laptop oh my battery is so so low um so let's get the red on and <laughs> then if it dies you can figure you can figure it out yourself <laughs> um oh okay mom's brought my charger but it's not long enough for there <laughs> right mom's brought my charger over but i need an extension <laughs> Excuse us, we're manically. Oh, that's cool. I can send her to fetch more stuff. <laughs> okay, the actual hang on. The actual robin had a more orange chest. Let's no, let's go red. He's a robin red breast. He's having a red breast. <laughs> so it's from his head down, and then he had funny little markings on his chest. So I will attempt to copy that. So it's just like it goes all the way down and two little points coming down his little red breast. <laughs> that's that's Mumsy with the with an extension cord. Do you want to say hello to the crew, Mum? <laughs> that thing that's snow. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get me some black felt while you're there as well. This is cool. I've got staff. I should have some black in the bedroom. <laughs> okay, so we are saved for power. Ta da! <laughs> Brilliant. 
okay, yes, we're sorted for power. So I don't have to race because, oh, my laptop was down to 7%. That, that was not good. <laughs> Uh, Tobias, just back from work, looks like a robin. Yes, today is a robin. Um, by the way, what was in the bag today for anyone that's just joined is this gorgeous um, Raymond vegan silk stuff, which is beautiful and would make a great fairy hair, um, but I've already done a fairy. Lisa's in the house. Hello there. Um, no, not that, mum. <laughs> that doesn't have black. You see a big bag with black on the bed. <laughs> I, I have staff fetching me stuff. Bridget says hi, Pam's mum. Hi, <laughs> mum says hi, Bridget. I'm just trying to see if we can get her on the camera. Don't tell her. <laughs> She's totally listening to the stream elsewhere in the other room. That's how she knew this. Let's see. There's mum. <laughs> Thank you, mum. Thank you very much, mum. Uh, <laughs> yay, we got mum on camera. <laughs> and she brought me some black. So cool. It's like I'm all organised. I like having staff. Yes, for everyone who's just joined, yesterday a little gorgeous robin stalked me and was totally adorable. So I figured if there wasn't a full project out of the gorgeousness that we've got in the kit, I will be using I will be using this vegan silk and this gorgeous aquary colour. That would be perfect for a kelpie, wouldn't it? There we go. So we'll save that for that. That's an idea. Um uh, so yes, that'll be a project next year, um, but I decided that making this fat little robin was far more important. So he has this kind of little bib down his chest. Um, that's that's what he looked like. So we're, we're going off the real guy. Just firming this up. Actually, robin would be kind of cute as a squishy felt as well, um, but he can take take his time. Uh, Bridget, she's got a beautiful sideboard. I know she really has. Here, let's, let's snoop mum's house. Um, will this camera come with me? I really love these, these plates that she's got on it and the sideboard is gorgeous. Uh, loads, of, loads of fun things there. So mum, Bridget likes your sideboard. <laughs> yeah, oh, hit the table. Yes, it is lovely. Um, much nicer backdrop. <laughs> um, to buy it's a Christmas Kelpie. Uh, no, I think a Kelpie would be a bit of a bigger project. Um, so I'm planning to, to leave that till the new year. Um, I might start planning it out um, while I'm while I'm visiting, but I think that'll be a big, a big old project. And I don't want to keep you all around for like three hours while I try and make a giant horse or something. <laughs> I'm trying to think like because I know German types have cramp crampmus um little more scary more folk folklore Christmas things and I think it's is it Spain or Italy that have have the crapper in the nativity which is a little person or animal around the back of the stable doing what you think they're doing um but I can't think of any more grotesque UK traditions for Christmas. We're, we're all far too nice, um, which is not normal. Hmm. Yes, I would like, I mean, obviously there's the Grinch. That's not UK. <laughs> um, there, there is the Grinch, but that's not, that's not the same. Okay, I'm just quickly checking what the beak is like. It's a kind of brown beak that sticks out and, and upward at a very cheeky angle. I think, I think my little um robin yesterday was guarding the berry tree from us um so i'm just it's it's almost like a needle i'm just felting a sharp a sharp tube for his beak krampus yes that's that's the word i was trying to say <laughs> thank you yes i do next year somebody remind me about summer next year to do a krampus project i want to do all these kind of ones but every time it get, I think, oh, yes, I'll do that for Christmas. I'll do that for Christmas. And then we run out of time for Christmas. And I don't think it's a quick on-camera project. I think it's, it's a more detailed project. Um, yeah, so tiny needle. I'm going to felt this a little bit firmer because I'm not racing for my laptop to crash. We're at 10% battery. Yay. Thanks. Thanks to mum for saving. Thank you, mum. <laughs> 
here. But their little needle beak, um, and it was completely pointing up the way in quite a arrogant, cheeky little angle. Um, he definitely had a whole bunch of character. little beak and then his eyeballs in the black just fetched by mum um the eyeballs are quite actually quite close sort of more in level with the beak than i would have thought um it's cool to have a real life model um so the eyeballs just go slightly slightly off the top angle of the beak and quite big eyes which is cute so i'm just Trying to get two even pinches and I'll roll, roll them and felt them a little bit into a ball. And then pop them on his head. And then apart from firming up, we're done. And But I love seeing everyone's gingerbread men yesterday. They were fantastic. Way better than mine. Absolutely better than mine. <laughs> but thank you so much for sharing. They were fun. Yeah. And so I am, so his eye just, oh, you'll see, you'll see where my fingers aren't in the way. Um, I might add a little more red to go round so his eye is separate from his, his brown. Yes, I will do that. So just a little pinch more red to separate it. <laughs> Carol saying, hello, Pam's mum. <laughs> yes, mum's mum's minute of fame. She does not like being on camera. Um, oh, Tobias, here's a link to some non-Christmas Yule entities. Awesome. I will, legendary monsters of fruit. I am totally going to have to look that up when I get offline. I, I can't click them just now because... My internet <laughs> will struggle if I add too much onto it, but that's le legendary monster words. Legendary monsters Christmas, awesome! That sounds fun. Mental floss. I haven't heard of that, but yes, that sounds really cool. I will definitely check that out. <laughs> Tobias Christmas penguin. Yep, Christmas penguins. Thank you. I've I've felted lots of penguins about. Four or five years ago, I did a series of penguins and they sold really well. So, yeah, if anyone's looking for a project anytime for cool things to sell, Christmas penguins were good. <laughs> and other eye and just adding a bit more shading around so it stands out from the brown. The actual real life Robin had slightly more tan coat but brown bit but we've established that this idiot didn't bring the right colors <laughs> away with her when she was packing this the silly things to forget when you're packing to come away for a couple of weeks um a hairbrush i'm borrowing a comb on my mom's but my hair still looks fun i forgot so i forgot a hairbrush and i forgot some of the colors that i needed well you're always gonna forget something aren't you um I'm just going to firm him up and smooth him out, but oh, he definitely needs a little little pinch of white for a glint in his eye. So just taking a tiny little pinch and rolling it up tight into a ball. You can, if people aren't watching, you can lick your fingers to get a bit of traction to get that ball to sort of start felting, bind to itself a little bit, but you just... Putting that little tiny bit of white in really helps it come to life. And still to firm up, but <laughs> there is a rather bizarre little Christmas Robin. Um, oh, Bridget, thank you. I'm looking fine. Oh, you're too kind. I, <laughs> I don't have my flattering light set up or anything, but he's, he's fine anyway. Who cares? <laughs> um, 
But guys, that is a robin, a super quick ornament you can make. Um, I really want to do a pom-pom robin as well. That would be so easy and so cute. Um, but anyway, easy project. Um, easy beginner's project. Two balls, three little flappy shapes and a bit of colouring and a, and a tube of the beak. <laughs> and yeah, what can be more, more festive than a robin? Even for countries that don't have robins, you still have them in their Christmas cards. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me. You all have an awesome day. And, yeah, I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Um, I can even sneak. We've got a blue bag tomorrow. I have no idea what's in it. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see what we're doing tomorrow. But have a great day. Thank you for joining. And, yeah, see you next time.